Hey guys, welcome to this uh, tent review of the Vauder Power Sphere two person tent. This tent I've been using this summer on uh, Peak Canyon, 7,000 meters, and I've been cam camping with it up to. Wow, that's a loud noise. And now the tram is coming as well. Film the tram. Yeah, uh, a lot of distracting noises as well here, but uh, yeah, there's another one. Anyway, um, this tent, I've been using it on high altitude on 6,000 meters a couple of nights. I also had it on a side trip in the mountains in uh, Karakol Mountains in Kyrgyzstan. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a review of this tent. So yeah, check out this video and uh, enjoy the ride. My name is uh, Tim Bogdanov and I'm the Swedish Adventurer of the Year 2013 and uh, I spend a lot of my time doing bicycle tours and uh, climbing big peaks so um, yeah I spend a lot of time during the year outdoors doing all kinds of projects so I wanted to give you guys uh, some reviews of the gear I'm using because it might be of some value for you guys the last couple of years I've been using a lot of tents from uh, Vauder. I started off with the Vauder Space Explorer, which I used during my big bicycle tour from Sweden to China. That was like 10 years ago, soon. And uh, after that I had also a Vauder Taurus XP, I think it's called. Two person small tent as well, which was pretty light and uh, very durable as well. And uh, yeah, for these, this summer's adventures, I needed something more robust, you can say, because I knew I would have a lot of tent nights above 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 meters, where I have a lot of snow and rain and wind and really tough conditions. And for that, I choose the Vauder Power Sphereo two-person tent, which is built to last during extreme conditions it's a, like expedition tent and uh, yeah i trusted Vauder since before and um, yeah it lasted pretty well so now after being using the Vauder powers period this summer i can say that the, it was a good investment even if the tent is a bit pricey yeah it's a quite expensive tent for being at that size but it's uh, pretty durable because it can resist a lot of uh, punishment. And uh, yeah, some other benefits that I saw with this tent is that the condensation level is uh, pretty low. We have some good ventilations with two ventilation uh, uh, pockets, you can say, or windows. So the ventilation is quite good and um, it's pretty strong for its weight. I mean, it's only 2.5 kilos and uh, it works for two people. We were two persons climbing peak landing together and with all our high altitude gear and ropes and stuff it still was enough space. It wasn't like comfortable because we didn't have that much space but it was comfortable enough to sleep inside the tent and uh, have the tent as a recovery place when we were resting in the camps. But yeah, uh, with the vestibule it's possible to have one backpack out there and uh, maybe one backpack inside the tent and some other gear inside the tent. So it's fully possible to be two persons climbing a 7,000 meter peak with this tent. I also did a solo trip into the mountains in Kyrgyzstan where I got to try this tent for only me and that was uh, really really comfortable because the measurements inside the tent is uh, on the length it's 215 centimeters and the wideness is um, 115 so you have quite a lot of space inside and you have another 100 centimeters the length of the vestibule as well so it's uh, plenty of space for one person and also for the roof it goes up to 100 centimeters at its highest point so you can sit up uh, very comfortably inside the tent so for one person to have your backpack inside and all your things it's uh, really really comfortable and uh, for the weight and for having this durability it's uh, it's a good trade-off for having this kind of uh, comfort and uh, 
durability for 2.6 kilos it's just not a bad not a bad deal i believe all right guys so this tent consists of uh, two different tent poles the small one which is used for the above the entrance and the big one which is uh, holding the tent up the tent pegs we have or the tent sticks we have 13 of those uh, this one is a little bit bent because i put it down to the ground somehow wrongly i guess and also this repair tool for the tent poles as well and uh, then we also have the tent cover which uh, to store the tent in the original one and we also have the tent itself which is a two layer tent one inner one and one outer one so that's all the pieces of the tent so this is the storage bag for the tent poles and also the tent sticks you can see i have some small holes in it because I've been using it this summer and uh, yeah, it's nothing really special about this one except that you can keep everything at one place it's pretty good just put everything down here like this and usually I put this separately from the rest of the tent because I keep this one in the backpack or outside the backpack so I can keep it in two pieces can I keep a watch on? Okay. All right, so the big one and also the tent poles goes inside the compression bag. This is the original one that you get uh, with the tent from uh, Vaude. And uh, yeah, I don't really like this one because you cannot really compress it that good. So what the result was um, a bit inaccurate. So our conclusion is that the weight devices aren't that accurate and uh, that the weight is uh, on both of the bags are pretty much the same. Uh, with the tent inside both of these bags is around 2,500 grams and uh, it's not more than 2,600 or at least it's around there somewhere. Uh, it's pretty hard to say when you have um, inaccurate measuring systems but uh, anyway the greatest function of uh, the compression bag from sea to summits with the event is that you can compress it to a small bowl which you can have inside your backpack um, this one is uh, probably better to have outside your backpack like if you put up the tent and then you roll it up and then you have it something like this hanging outside your backpack so yeah that's why i prefer this one because of the compression size it's just keeps the tent in a nice small bowl that you can have inside the backpack. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well for upcoming outdoor product reviews and other outdoor adventure content as well from my projects in the big mountains or bicycle touring and most of all don't forget to create your own outdoor adventures as well guys so see you soon.